So there's me as the bear. Have you ever, guys, have you ever done that? Put on a mask and become something else? You should try it sometime. It's an experience. I didn't, it's not in the pictures, but I, I kept my accordion with me when we marched in the parade. And people were coming up to me and wanted to take my picture, and I, I actually transformed into somebody else. I've never had that happen before. How long have you been playing the accordion? Uh, for a long time. I mean, we took lessons. Um, we did all our lessons by record. So there was like an LP, and you'd, put the, you'd have the music, and then you'd read what they had to say, and then you'd play the record, and then on the record it would, they would have somebody play the song the way it's supposed to be played. So you knew what you were aiming for, and then when you could play it as good as the record, then you'd go to the next song. Oh, and here's another one with me playing the accordion. I, I do this for birthdays. Like I told you, my, my one thing is my um, happy birthday medley. It was nice having, um, well, nice and sort of weird, having <laughs> uh, sisters who are lesbian because we were all, it was the same dating pool. And then, of course, in those days, your sister always had matching dresses. That was a big thing. And you had to wear Oxfords. That was not a good thing. Why not? Because <laughs> they were ugly. And then she'd always cut our bangs just before the picture. And she never, that mom never mastered cutting straight bangs. And then so she'd cut them shorter and shorter to try and get them even. That's she used to put a bowl on our head and cut our hair that way. She did. <laughs> Those were the best haircuts, actually, because she just put the bowl on and then she would just cut where there was no bowl. <laughs> <laughs> then I heard that there were some people in Vancouver who were wanting to organize a film festival for the gay games. And I just thought, oh, that would be so great. I would love that. So um, I went to a meeting in somebody's house in the West End. There were like maybe five or six other people. We just connected and uh, we came up with the name out on screen. And I don't know how we did it. <laughs> we didn't have any grants. So we raised money through the world's most worst movie marathon. We watched like Liberace movies, Pippi Longstocking, Japanese monster movies, women in prison movies. <laughs> they were awful. They were just like the worst movies ever. But we had a blast. It was like so much fun. This was when the singing nun was big. So this was a church thing. And one of the uh, young women in the Catholic church was going to become a nun. So they asked, because they knew I played the guitar. Do, do you guys do, do you know, remember the singing nun? Dominica, nica, nica, da, 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 da. She had a hit song. She was the singing nun. I know. Very <laughs> I am very much dating myself. I just had a sheet on my head, and they gave us this white thing. Was what the priests wear underneath the black robe thing, and then and then we had like a, a tassel kind of thing there, and we were going to be the singing nuns. Um, I was also in an all-girl rock band, and I do have a I do have a picture of that somewhere. I'll find that for you. I mean, I think back now and I think, I can't believe I didn't know <laughs> I was a lesbian. I just thought I might have been asexual or something. We used to have the Eatons and the Simpsons catalogs um, to do our shopping. And um, I was always looking at the women models. I had total infatuation crushes on almost all my female teachers all the way through high school and elementary school. You know, I mean, I just look back now and laugh. It's unbelievable that I wouldn't have got that connection. But there was no conversation. Mm -hmm.